What is up, everybody? I'm Get Flanked, and today we're going to be going over how you can improve your aim in Rainbow Six Siege today. This isn't something that's going to require hours of uh, aim training. This isn't something that requires crazy reaction time. It doesn't matter whether you're on PC or console. What we're going to talk about in this video, if you start implementing and really concentrating on today, it will make you a better player and it will help you win more gunfights. Now you might be thinking, why in the world would I take aim advice from Get Flanked? And I can't say that I blame you too much. Nobody's ever gonna confuse me for having the best aim or the best mechanics. But what we're gonna be doing in this video is going over a concept and I'm gonna be showing a good example of this concept and a bad example. And the good example, we're gonna be showing clips from Hyper. He is a pro player from Dark Zero and considered by many to be one of the best players in the world. Hyper's absolutely nuts. He's got great aim. There's so much you can learn from him. And we're gonna be going over a couple of clips from one of his recent streams. And as the bad example, you're gonna be looking at some of my clips, okay? So we're gonna be talking about a concept, we're gonna be showing a couple different examples of it, and uh, hopefully helping you guys out and giving you something that you can really focus on to get better again today. Okay, to demonstrate this concept, I'm first gonna show you a hyper clip, and I'll let it play, then we'll come back, we'll watch it again, we'll talk about what I want you to focus on when watching hyper in this clip. Yes, upside down, literally on the wall. Bomb. A drone and rafter. No rafter square. Fuck that. That's so office, yeah. Right, another one out under. Yo, we're coming up rafter first. Yep. Rafter. Going up rafter. Going up rafter. Yeah, one Yana... breach. Standing, standing on the breach, Pink. You can swing this guy. Never mind, never mind. Cancel, cancel. I'm gonna watch the window, Tyler. Okay. So is a garage ball. Yeah, on us. Don't worry, is a garage ball. Two breach, one garage. One repelled east side of the plat, one on the plat. He's on Raptor. Mighty what? Raptor. Okay, as we look at this clip from Hyper again, what I really want you to focus on is the efficiency of Hyper's crosshair placement. There's no wasted movement here. Now, the first kill right here, it's partly reaction time, but also he doesn't need to make an adjustment because his crosshair is in the right place. When he sees the guy, he just pushes mouse one because his crosshair is there. Now watch right here as he moves through the map. Look how efficient his movement is. There's no wasted movement here. His movement is snappy, but his crosshair is always where a threat could be. Watch as he turns this door and aims at blue door down there is right there. If there's somebody in blue door, his crosshair is where it needs to be to win the gunfight. Now, as he comes in the garage here, he ends up missing his shots on this guy. But again, no large adjustment was needed to get close to landing bullets on this guy. He, he was there. And that's really what I want to focus on. Uh, there are pros that have crazy aim that can make crazy flicks and that's really flashy, but that's something that's gonna require a lot of practice from you. Uh, the reaction time of Hyper, that's something that you probably either have or you don't, in all honesty. You can improve it a little bit, uh, but that efficiency of his movement, that crosshair placement, the fact that he's always got his crosshairs where a threat could be, and he's kind of slicing the map up like that. That's something that you can implement today. I'm not saying that you're not gonna get better with practice. It does require some map knowledge to know where your crosshair needs to be on your next step as you push through a door. But I firmly believe for the majority of players watching this, this is something you can start focusing on more and you can improve upon right now. Okay, now let's take a look at one of my clips so you can see the contrast here. All right, just call it for me. I'm holding the end of an island right now. They're opening back of billiards. That's your guy, Kitchen. Oh, God! Ashes billiards, I had a drop. Another one billiards? They're up top floor. That was probably Zoe. That was probably Zoe. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I think the contrast between my movement and Hyper's is pretty clear. It's actually super embarrassing for me to look at like that. But uh, I wanted to show it to you guys, and I'm sure that a lot of you guys watching this have better movement to me. So the difference probably isn't as significant. But I'm sure for 99% of the people watching this, the concept that we're talking about here, you can improve upon, okay? So let me really highlight where I'm lacking as we look at this clip. Remember when we saw Hyper moving through the map that his crosshairs were really efficient. It seemed like his crosshairs were always where a potential enemy could be. As he's moving through the map, he's predicting the next doorway and stuff, and he's getting his crosshairs set up for that so that he's always ready for a gunfight. With me, 
I'm rarely ready for a gunfight right here. I mean, even though I'm getting calls knowing that there's people in billiards right there, my crosshair is very rarely where it needs to be. And I'm going to freeze it right here. This is the main point I want to drive home, okay? If you only take one thing from this video, it's right here, okay? So you can see there near billiards, there's an ash, okay? Look where my crosshair is right now. I'm literally aiming at a wall that's right in front of me. And there is basically nowhere on the map other than directly in front of me that an enemy can be right now where I will be ready for it, okay? So look at how big of an adjustment I'm going to have to make in order to get my crosshairs over to that ash, okay? Now, again, if you've got crazy flicks and stuff, good for you. It's still gonna take some time. I don't care how fast you are. It still takes more time to get your crosshair over there to the ash right now than if I had been, if I'd had my crosshair in a good position to begin with. Um, but I'm at a complete disadvantage right here in this gunfight. And why, it's just, it really comes down to an inefficiency. Why am I aiming at a wall that's in front of me? You know, I, I was aiming through those Habana holes, that's fine, but Whenever you come off of that, you need to snap towards the next target, okay? You need to be constantly moving that crosshair to where a potential enemy can be. This wall in front of me is not where an enemy can be, okay? So that's the big point that I really want to drive home. Um, and the video is going to pick up here in a second. You already saw it once. I ended up getting this kill, but I shouldn't have. I should have died to this ash 100%. I should have probably died to that ace as well. Um, but that's the big point right there. If you're being efficient with your crosshair, like hyper is, then you're not going to have to make those huge adjustments like that when you do find an enemy. Okay. Back to another hyper clip here. And the context for this clip is that he's going to cover a lot of ground on the map without any information on knowing where enemies are necessarily, but look at how he's always prepared for a gunfight. He's predicting where an enemy could be, and he's getting his crosshairs set up on where that enemy would be if they're holding an angle on where he's approaching. So Yes, you always want information, but with crosshair placement like this and the efficiency of his movement, he's always prepared for a gunfight. And even if he doesn't have information, even if an enemy's holding an angle on where he's approaching, he's still going to be in a position where he has a chance to at least win that gunfight. Now, a couple of things. I think it will take you some practice to get as snappy with your movement as he is. Um, and it also does require some map knowledge, but just start thinking immediately about how you can be more efficient with your crosshair and always having it where a potential enemy can be, okay? No wasted movement. Don't spend time with your crosshair aiming at the floor. Don't spend time with your crosshair aiming at walls. Always make sure that as you're moving through the map that you're placing your crosshair where an enemy could be. Try to predict that. Uh, and I think you'll see rapid improvement uh, and you, you'll just see yourself dying less to people holding angles, uh, even if you don't know where they are. Okay, back into one of my clips here, and you're going to see as Nook here, I come into uh, this room, and I'm aiming at the floor. Uh, we'll freeze it right there. You can see the Valkyrie through that door, and I am aiming at the floor right now. Like, what am I aiming at? Okay, <laughs> I guess I thought somebody might be laying down in here, but either way, um, you know... They, it, it's just it's just showing how inefficient I'm being. Look at how big of an adjustment I'm going to have to make in order to get my crosshairs up onto that Valkyrie right now. If I'm slicing that room the right way, if I'm being efficient with my crosshair, as I'm coming through, I would have my crosshair really close to that Valk as I, as I expose myself to that line of sight, and it would be a super easy kill. The only reason I end up getting this kill is because she's not looking at me. If she's looking at me, I die. Um, so just another example there of how, you know, inefficient I'm being and how I need to be predicting, you know, where my crosshair needs to be based upon, you know, the doors that I'm entering and the lines of sight that I'm exposed to. Okay, here's another clip from me, and this is a situation where I get this kill if I'm just ready for a gunfight and have my crosshair where it needs to be. Instead, what you're seeing here is I, as I come down these stairs, I don't even have my sights up. And if I'm coming through this part of the map like Hyper did, where I'm moving my crosshairs, I'm always predicting where an enemy can be, then I would have my crosshairs up close on this doorway, and I would have been able to get the kill on this Ash. Even though she's sitting there holding an angle on me, I would have been able to get this kill if I just would have been ready for it. What am I gaining in this situation by not having my crosshair up? Okay, like It's not like I'm sprinting or anything like that. I should have just had my crosshairs up here and been ready for this, and it would have been an easy kill for me.
Okay, we're gonna end the video on a hyper clip here. Hopefully this gets rid of all that potato that you've been watching in my last few clips here. Uh, but again, the big thing I wanna drive home here is that for like beginning intermediate players, you really just have to focus on crosshair placement. And I used to think crosshair placement meant having your sights at head level. But more than that, I think the, the more important part of crosshair placement is always having your crosshairs in a position where an enemy could be and trying to predict that. And I think if you really focus on that and really focus on not wasting any movement, always focus on having your crosshairs in a position that'll make you ready for a gunfight. It's impossible for you to predict every single gunfight you're going to have, but at least be prepared for one. If you're opening yourself up to multiple angles as hyper is in this clip, um, you know, at least be prepared for one of those angles at all times. And that's going to increase your odds instead of like me aiming at the floor or aiming at a wall, be ready for one of them. That's the big point here. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe and I'll have more coming your way here soon.